Oh, good day from Canada. Just wanted to show you the money tree is inside now in the south window. I got plants here like crazy. Lots of spiders that I dug up. There's spiders everywhere, these spider plants. That plant always looks so good in the winter there. And I have a little plant here. And over here, that's for Jax, and she sleeps. There she is. Where are you, Jax? There you are, in the cat cave. But anyway, I saved the babies from the bucket. This is the bucket that was outside in the gazebo, and there's still a bunch of babies in there. I haven't got them all out. There's probably like eight or seven, seven or eight, I don't know where they all are right now but um there's a bunch more in the fish tank i'm trying to go with the tiki tiki look so uh and i got the that there sort of tiki tiki at the second hand store just a i don't know and then the little toucan for after christmas we'll do the tiki tiki look well this year i went with the old-fashioned tree look I think that looks cute there. I don't know. And the old-fashioned candy canes. And and then that mural there. I got that mural, the nativity mural at uh, the secondhand Valley Village. And it's done with gold thread. I think it's hand done. It's actually really nice there for Christmas. And it's snowing in the kitchen I haven't got all this all lights up but I just wanted to show you um, here are the other babies that were they were all in the bucket I moved most of them to the tank and then I thought I'd still right run the bucket so there's like seven or eight there's like I don't know 10 or 11 here or something or 12 because there's a total of like 19 at least I counted but this guy here, the orange one, is really fat, like, and he's all gold and beautiful now. And that's that grass that this tank was, uh, well, not this tank, but another tank with the sword tails was outside all summer. And I have that in the spare bedroom window, and it's got a ton of grass. The grass helps to keep it nice. So we'll take a look at the pond quick out here. It's a nice day. I wouldn't even call this winter and it's what December 7th is it today but um, it's was like plus 18 yesterday so that's like 70s in the 70s so you got to air out the pond because if it's 50 or 70 uh, Fahrenheit it's gonna be like 80 to 100 underneath the cold frame with the Sun shining and then you, that will be conducive to extra algae growth in the winter because algae grows best in the winter when virtually nothing else is growing. Although this is supposed to be winter, but the calla, because this was covered in plastic, I just took the plastic away for the day, just so it doesn't overheat. And look at the fish down there, they're all doing good. The water's still ice cold, I'd call it. I don't have my thermometer. I quit taking temperatures years ago. All I don't worry about the temperature or the water. And I run this all winter without a heater. I only worry that the pumps will quit and then it would the uh, surface would freeze solid. That's the worst case scenario. If you got a pump that runs fairly fast like this one here, right? It'll it doesn't actually need to be covered even minus 40 I've run them without covering them because the water's coming out too fast although if your pump isn't fast enough you could switch out the hose to a smaller size hose so the water would come out faster so it wouldn't freeze if the water comes out fast enough out of the hose it shouldn't freeze but then I even have a couple uh, lily pads there was a new lily pad on this side uh, well, I had it open. It must have blown down. But there's a new lily pad trying to grow there, and there's still some lily pads that are kind of deadish. But considering this is, should be, you know, 
right now normal temperatures would be minus 20 to 30 you know and when the, it's like a brown Christmas I still have this uh, ghost up I gotta put her away but I just wanted to show you everything's fine air it out if you're not having like winter temperatures that I would say if your daytime temperatures are uh, from plus 10 to plus 20 which is like 50 to 70 Fahrenheit or above you need to air out your pond it'll overheat what will happen is the greenhouse effect and it'll uh, overheat the surface of the water under the um, under the uh, cold frame right because because of El Nino or whatever it's a mild winter but the water's still cold they're resting they're not eating they're not going to eat right now and I just lay the plastic over here and then just hold it down with logs and then if there's snow I throw the snow all around it because that helps to insulate but I can't really show <coughs> show you much winter because I think while uh, the coldest we've had would be about I don't know minus 15 uh, Celsius so that would be I don't know somewhere like 20 or uh, Fahrenheit or below but I, I haven't had no ice this year it hasn't really been cold enough for, to drop the temperature so I don't know it's a mild uh, year but and that's today I just wanted to show you everything nothing to fear even though winter is here and even if there was snow it would all still be good because the snow is actually good because it helps to insulate like an igloo if, when you put the plastic down throw the snow over top say if it's minus uh, 20 below or whatever uh, and colder usually gets at least once a year to the close to minus 40 or below and if I have a lot of snow and I throw it over the cold frame then it can be warm and snug and it doesn't seem to get any ice but if all the snow melts I will get a lot of ice under the cold frame but it never freezes solid because the pumps are always running so and that's today everybody you guys get ready for Christmas Santa Claus is coming to town. See you later.